So North America is still bent out Mimikyu. Comfe seems fine. We have a Gyarados first. Makes sense. And we have a Lucario already. Okay. I guess Phalanx is probably not allowed, but I feel like it should be. But I guess it's still too new, sadly. Oh, let's see what we have here. We actually have Lucario in bot lane. Okay. And we have... Put her on top. I mean, they only have melees, right, actually? They have a full melee team, I just realized. I mean, this looks so scary. I mean, I feel like attack are quite... Dead in general, not anyways. I can take a non-feed too great, except for Mune and Teleon, maybe. But even in Teleon is kind of... But sometimes. But the Gardevoir against almost five melees is quite, quite good, right? Moonblast, Future Night move. Like this... Oh. <laughs> he couldn't walk. Zakurak on the Snorlax. Good times. He should know, he's known for this Pokemon. Now, Buzzwall is bad now. I don't think he's going to see much Buzzwall. Oh, the Mew damage. Yeah, I mean, Mew is great. And besides that, I feel like Attack are kind of low priority. Oh, maybe Glaceon sometimes, but yeah. So far, Russ has really found some difficulty getting the last hits. Has seven in pocket, but it's still. Mew's already so far ahead. Another Electro Boy, another last hit. That is, yeah, tough. You really oh, two levels ahead. This game is also kind of useless. Wait, Zach, nah. They made him die. Oh my. <laughs> and they're just styling on them on bot lane. Slash so got absolutely clapped. This is, already looking this is so, so brutal. This is just Zakrak and Mew show right now. Another KO? They're just running. Oh, wow. Okay. This bot path is going. Uh, so well for Orange Juice, that's not even really funny. Especially when you have Lucario early. Like, if you play Lucario bot lane, you kind of try and be like, yeah, we can win early game. But they got smashed so hard. Now he eject button the Electro Ball damage. I think he might have been alive anyways, but still nice. Actually, a Psychic, no Moonblast. I'm surprised. But I guess they do have a lot of unstoppables later on. And Psychic, of course, helps you, right? KOing all the Defender. They have Trevenant and Umbreon. Yeah, this Lucario is three levels down now. Even four levels down. That is wild. No, Quinch Blast is good. Okay, okay, true, true, true. You gotta bounce for Gyarados. But I feel like in this game, is Waterfall better against this many melees? I feel like Bounce is better against more ranged kind of teams, but... Yeah, the bot pad, like, Lucario is super useless now for the rest of the game. He's level 6. He's level 6. He's not going to do anything. No stacks, probably either, maybe one, one or two. He's going to go down again. Yeah. Much damage and Eldegoss boosted auto could be enough to KO that Lucario. Lucario is not looking great. Retreating, no real value gain. Yes, Reggie, like he was secured, but it's not even going to make it towards that. Just goal. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's such a, a oh, great line of defense from Orange Juice. If Therion's and Sakrak just spoiled bottom a bit too hard. Point of no return. Uh, but they've also got so many ways to protect them, right? I mean, you've got. And if a five melee team uh, falls uh, behind, uh, it can be quite itself, difficult because you. You always have to pull go all in. You have no poke, no nothing. More than offensively, it's going to be really hard to dive that back line. So being able to push down these goal zones is going to be very difficult for Hades. There's a reason why they're down. By and they're all kind of just going to walk into God of War Unite, I feel like, in team fights. Yeah. Uh, what I'm really excited about is Subrock Snorlax having that block build instead of the Yawn, which we've seen so popular. Yeah, blocker, I think, is also better in this game, definitely. Like, he doesn't have to set up anything. All you have to do is PA, right? As long as he peels for God of War, game should be quite over right now but then again Rayquaza exists so you know and they have Lucario, Blaziken lots of secure and Orange Juice doesn't have a good secure they only have Gyarados 
Ice Unite, I guess, which is kind of hard to time. They have Solar Beam, Electro Ball. So I like the wall, another KO here. Oh, this is looking disgusting. They've got nine points left here. They're going to get a 31 over. 31 over, Cap. Could have got a little bit more if they waited for the Gyarados, but they are just doing <laughs> Lots so, of points. so well. Those little minuscule things probably won't matter. I mean, this is a huge lead. The orange shoes. Uh, I'll say, though, we do have Blaziken at level 11 on Hades. It's kind of their only chance. Hades right are a team that rips. Yeah, I mean, they're calm, just like Blaziken, Hoopa, Ario, definitely. They're going to rip raid. I mean, they have to at this point. They're already too far behind. They are going to win a team fight either. Not with a 11, 9 Lucario, 5 minutes of the game, no <laughs> Sakura. <laughs> he can unite us, is he gonna, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zakarak, that was a bit too of mine. He just, <laughs> he just got exploded in air. He just disappeared. He jumped right into Overhead to Cardio <laughs> This could be it now. This could be the comeback, maybe. Gonna find some chaos up here. They're going hard for God of War. Oh, overheat? No eject, though. Yeah, it wasn't a bit too much by Zakrok. He was feeding himself a bit too much. And those could be the things, like, if he doesn't die there, he can defend the goal, right? And now there's suddenly there's only 100 point difference. Such a powerful battle item on this Pokemon in particular, but not having that combo, uh, they're frustrating for Celestial, I'm sure, as they miss Yeah, he, he literally got one shot. I mean, he, <laughs> he looks so funny. He just got, he just absolutely disappeared. Absolutely disappeared. Not too bad, but there's still a lot of goals on pressure coming from Orange Juicers, and the levels have started to even up a decent amount. It's not the worst the lead in the world right now. We got level 13 as our kind of highest on that Gardevoir, which is really going to be scary when it comes to this late game. Some of Gyarados is kind of under level, though. I mean, not really under level. They have no Inidis to farm, right? Right on top. But Blaziken is almost 13. Blaziken has come back into this game quite well. Gyarados could unite. They could unite for one more time right here if they want to look for something. Gyarados can unite. Gyarados can unite. Is Special Shizu going to unite? There we go. They're going for Blaziken. They can't reach this Gardevoir, they just can't. Nice heavy slam, nice block. Yeah, I know they can't win team fights, right? They have no chance in team fights. Absolutely zero. I don't know what the comp is supposed to do. I mean, the comp is supposed to win laning phase, maybe, and then get ahead for Rayquaza later on, but I don't know what else they're supposed to do otherwise. Very nice, but now there's only 30 seconds left, and there's two huge Unites to build back for Orange Juicers. They're really going to have to pay attention to that. I mean, you do not want to, especially with the KO. I mean, they have their thoughts behind it, right? They're not picking just uh, to pick it. To they know what they're, they're doing that. with this. They have picked us with this. Well, just, just perfectly, but it just, yeah, yeah. It's always the, you get knocked out, you actually get more Unite yeah, charges. Yeah. Sometimes we see these supports sort of run it down, if you They will, also just can't engage, really. It's quite difficult. To to it they, don't even, they don't even have good engage, right? Like, the engage is non-existent. The engage is foul play. That's not engage, right? They literally don't even have engage. They have no Botema either. So... And Very now, weird comp by Hades. Much more of a central position held by Orange. Like they need, they, they're, they're just, they're just. I mean, the wall is gonna at least. They have to flip Ray, but they don't even have a lot of DPS for Ray. They only have Laser Cannon that they can actually hit Ray. So I don't know what this team comp is supposed to be. Physically, but oh look at this! This is strange vision. Look how far. Oh Gyarados, those very low HP. Can even KO him? No Gyarados. Okay. Now they can maybe start Ray. Gyarados is maybe gone. Oh wait, already being used. I'm gonna just. To Ray now. No, this now is the Ray. Where's the camera going? But Blaziken is gone. Blaziken is dead. What? Oh, they have no chance to. Gardevoir level 14 does too much damage, I guess. But they can Gardevoir unite onto this Rayquaza. Nice block by Zakra. And they get it. Zakra blocked to carry out of the Rayquaza pit. Yeah, that was that was a complete stomp. I don't I don't know what Hades was trying to do. Yeah, but this time Hades comp looks much, much more, like, much better, definitely. But the Tunnel Flame last pick? That is interesting, didn't expect this to happen. And Sylveon, Hyper Voice into what Hades has? It's okay, it's okay. I would not really enjoy playing Hyper Voice, though, in this game. But he's probably gonna have to go for it. Okay, let's see what Leafion can do. I'm always curious how Leafion performs in tournaments. 
It's just such a. Uh, it's really hard to tell sometimes how strong Defin really is. Maybe he's gonna invade as well. Is he gonna live four gank something? Is it gonna be Razor Leaf, Solar Blade? I just think Razor Leaf, Leafion should see more play in tournaments. Yeah, they're gonna invade maybe now instantly over to the right side. No? They got Edugos instead. Uh, very easy to see, but right now... Uh, yeah, I want to see some Razor... Oh, it is Razor Leaf. Okay, I like it. Interesting, we are going with the Razor Leaf I like it, I like build. it. So a bit more um, of the uh, Speedster Assassin style of Pokemon, mm -hmm. less of I actually the think it's, uh, in the some solar scenarios, build. definitely the right choice. Burst damage, but we'll have the option to hit multiple targets, be a bit more creative about the angle. Especially if you get a lot of experience in Central Area. We'll ensure the EV Lucius hit their level 4 power spike. Now we have a three. So it's gonna be fly flame charge, right? Bottom side, you don't see this too often, especially when you have Gyarados on your team. The ganking Usually top lane. Prioritize that path. Yeah, but they did last time. Kind of prioritize. Wait, why is he running up? Just, just don't die, okay? But okay, it's easy to check button. Uh, this is a really interesting strategy to see in general. Like maybe it's kind of showing that they they're trading. AD sending they their attacker top. With that Mew path, and uh, it's going pretty well. A good way to score down there. And uh, I mean, right now, both teams are just invading each other. Little child is trying to defend. That's kind of what happens when you. Right now. I mean, this is on the other looking, side. I mean, it's not looking nearly as bad as it was before, but uh, this is looking really solid. The fact that we've got the level seven talent flame already. I mean, so power can't get this right now. Down there, it's looking really good for orange users. Clean wow. by Zang, it's the secure. Oh, oh no! He gets the KO. He moves instantly. Wait, but he jumped in. What? Oof, they are going to get knocked out. Chad, I want to know if you got that trivia correct, by the way. The highest win rate in. Pokemon in all of the UCS this year has been in Teleon at almost 60% okay. across every Then I expect that to happen. That's pretty wild. That does not surprise me oh. at all, to be honest. Now, you thought I mean, the cheat would be enough to, like, do something, but, uh, yeah. A lot right now, which is pretty surprising to me. Uh, How does level 8 now, suddenly? Strong, just, yeah. uh, it's running into some issues. Just casually level 8. Uh, this game, we're not going to have to worry about it. We don't have very much range at all in this Same game. This is, uh, <laughs> this is basically mid-range is long range within this current set of comps against each other and like so saying, who has more rings for team who has more circuits for team fights they were last time and a little bit better and i mean just the fact that they've got that leafy on four circuits uh, like the fact that it is that particular build. orange users have from, uh, five circuits I know was running that. Uh, I think they might have let's see one more circuit from, on the right uh, side Luke. Yeah. Oof. Big uh, unite with the leaf. I have to do four circuits. Instant KO, and this is what okay, I was he's gonna get a nice cap in right here. Alone makes They're just pushing top path. So formidable. Having I do carry again looks quite underleveled. So I mean, I guess those Gyarados so like kind of same. Really hard to contend with, especially when the unite move is ready to go. And we are gonna have Hades take that Regieleki, and then well, ah, uh, Trevor can get this. But there is a chance for a steal here. Uh, we'll see if we can get this Regie. Away, but right but now, Ferris playing it by is trying to hyper voice only Trevenant and not Regice. Oh, they're playing it so safe though. They're playing maybe a bit too safe. <laughs> oh man, no, no, it's a secure. Oh, man, what time? And he... Oh, close, close, close. It makes sense, but like, they waste so much time. The Rich Nicky, yeah, I mean, congratulations, you got bottom Reggie, but you lost second goal on top lane. <laughs> It just cost them so much time. Hey, just can push it in. Can they fight this? Even as Unite. She is stolen, but they can't really do much more than this. Yeah, it's really good for Hades. You almost, you almost would tempt Leafia, Sylveon onto Leafion. That Hyper Voice was almost enough damage. That was kind of close. <laughs> he almost killed his own teammate. Yeah, I mean it happened in the middle of that uh, fight for the Regieleki push in as well, so I'm sure it probably helped them out there. Uh, not the easiest thing to see, but well, this game is definitely much closer. From the Regis, they, they do a lot. But especially which I don't know. I feel like both late game. I don't know who is better late game. I feel like both late games are kind of mid on both oh. teams, right? Like Sylveon, Talon, Flame is alright, I guess. Leafion, Lucario, Espion, it's alright, I guess. There's nothing really that is like super scary for late game on either side. So it's gonna be a very close matchup. I don't see like one team having a high up, but Hades does have Hoop Unbound, which in fights is pretty, pretty good. Game. Bit of better macro and a point lead. This time around, so having a point lead with Hoopa is always super scary. But you can just back cap. Uh, like Lucario Knight or Power Punch? Power Punch. 
Ooh, I'm being got destroyed. Knife, name charge. Gyarados. I would love to see some Waterfall too, but I think you can't play Waterfall into Trevenant, right? Doesn't work. Oh, Kratos playing with fire. Plus 3 of XP share, yes. So it was a bot path, Trevenant. Yeah, Waterfall into Trevenant just doesn't work. Sadly. You can see Hades and Orange Juicers are pretty matched, right? It's just their first team game comp was just a complete mess. And their bottling just lost way too hard for no reason. Oh. They can get Trevenant at least. Yep. Not too much experience though. They can't really do much with it. They can look for a top push now. And they should push top. They should hurry up though, but Lupin Bone is there. Oh, maybe, maybe. Talon. Let's use a plane like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he goes back and leaves Unite. Hoopa's down though, somehow. Oh, nice eject button Unite by Mashuze. Okay. Not that caught up. We've seen a lot of attempts to get in with it. This Talon pick is grief? No, no, it's, it's, it's alright. I just... It was really the best choice there, maybe. I just don't know, like... Thinking if there was a better choice, but... I think Talon is always fine. Don't really care about Defion as well. I feel like the final stretch would be very interesting in this game. Like, I don't know what to expect. But Hades can always flip Ray if they want to. But I actually don't have a lot of Ray damage. It's going to be difficult to get it low. Me, Talon is always just a solid, like, uh, it's not much wrong with playing Talon Flame. I feel like it's very consistent over Pokemon, you know? Compared to other speedsters, because it's a bit more safe. Okay, this could be flip now. They might just flip it. Oh no, Talon Flame gets Leafy on. He's Jack Button onto him. Never mind. Talon Flame! That's nice, you know. Oh, he got stuck on the wall! Ooh, Mushes is down. Yeah, this game is so close. The point pop almost got Hooper before it ported Hooper back. You can't reunite to get. Oh, boy. He's flying in? Talon Flame is cool. Bro, what? He just goes in! I guess he didn't know how many in the toy grass there. But like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, neither team is better late game. I think it's very even. And you can actually see it in the gameplay, right? Like how even this game is right now. When it comes to strength of Pokemon. Leafeon, Umbreon, Zakrak. He gets another wish out. Hooper goes down. They're gonna go for it, but they're against Power Punch. They have to be careful. Oh, they're gonna go for it. It's gonna be flip now. Tunnel Flame playing in. Leafeon gets it. Nah. But wait, there's the shields. So can they get? Oh, they're aced. They get aced. We get a third game. But yeah, that was, I told you, right? Like, this this final stretch will be an absolute fiesta. And it kind of was. So Cario again. All right. Sylveon this early on picked away, I guess. Well, I guess Flareons is known for Sylveon, but still kind of weird. Just to... But, like, picking Sylveon this early just to take it away. Orange Juice has even lost last game with Sylveon, right? 
I just don't think you can let so, Umbreon go over to the side of Hades. I, mean, right? I don't know. Be taking that option. So, Grove, building with Interesting. The I'm not sure what I expect. And I mean, Orange Juice's com looks very, exactly. very solid. Usually picture, uh, the wish. I really do think we're gonna see game 3. This is very important because I feel like whoever wins this game is kind of guaranteed. So mobile, I think it just makes your solar blades going to the NA Aeos, so, uh, not Aeos Cup, NAIC, right? Because these are the two best teams in this group, I feel like. So I would assume so that whoever wins this is kind of safe. Going to the top 8. Magic Cup again for Moshizu. Yeah, left side comp looks very, very good. They have some engage. Fine laning. I don't know, but like the Sylvian early pictures just make a lot of sense to me. Nice and made by Kratos. Decently well, it looks like there was probably a blue buff yeah. stolen away because I only saw one red buff running. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah this got blue buff actually stolen away. The mini map, that little yellow dot still available. So, Razor Leaf is so taking over. Another Razor Leaf, uh, Leafion. From the side of Hades, what a thief Kratos is. Gets one big he played that so passive actually. He was so scared. Finish the KO, wants to respect the Lucario from Celestial, dodges out of the way instead of doubling down on the damage. And you are correct on that build. We are going to be fighting for But Celestial level is six somehow. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, okay. Slash a Lucario. But it's going to be hard to be aggressive. Scary stuff, scary stuff. Up top. I mean, it's so good at defending, especially when it has so much more, I would say, like horizontal range from this particular oh, build. Oh, this could be hey, huge you know, KO. He actually gets it. Wait, he might snowball this game very hard. He did go something yeah, good level 4. Interesting. We're going to see a perfect meteor bash play from Celestial just to make it impossible for Kratos to retreat to their own goal zone. Oh Hoping boy. Put in some scores as well. Right, I'm taking a ton of damage from that okay, Kratos. Okay, he's down. With the threat of that bounce being fully charged, it's not even worth going to that portal. Flareon's on a long journey. What is happening <laughs> here? Valeria and running all the way up is going to get knocked out. What is happening? How... <laughs> How did Intellion end up in this position? I didn't even check. I have no idea. Speed be getting caught left and right on both sides. Yeah, it's so interesting seeing such a like a, a bottom path focus, but yeah, it's been working out quite well. And both these teams, I love the fact that in this set we get to see them like really kind of put their personality into almost snipe shot here now, playing like their macro games, which yeah. is really really cool. It's not just orange juice and Zakrak. Areas, it's uh, it's really like well, what they choose to focus on. Which it was orange team, but they had to rename, I assume, because orange team is part of Unite. You know, like orange team is a is a term you use for Unite. Of course, purple orange team, right? So. They probably were forced to rename, which makes sense. Huge overheat. Oh, this is looking terrible for orange juicers right now. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, my. That was a big overheat. Nice over kept two now. Hmm. Kind of bad to fall this far behind with Leafeon. Because now Leafeon, if Leafeon doesn't like snowball early game a bit, it's not a good Pokemon, right? And Horns juicers have not even started the basement objective. Actually, and they can't even get bought either. They're gonna lose both objectives right here. Having Leafy in early game. Rocario. Yeah, maybe you can just keep it up for Rayquaza as well. Uh, but yeah, again, we talked about this before. They are a very objective, heavy team. Dark Dark down. Both first objectives. I'm uh, so kind of curious as to why. And Orange juicers are, are currently the second place, like right, in like championship points. Get, but I'm surprised. Somebody wasn't down there to at least So they are definitely the favorites in this. Once they saw the fact that there were going to be three members at least pushing up that top path, but now they have no tier one goal zones left while Hades has both of theirs. This is going to be entire map control from the side of Hades. Kratos just going to try to full combo the Sylveon. <laughs> okay. They get that KO, but close combat from Celestial is perfectly aimed with that evolution landing and having nowhere else to go except a flurry of fists. Celestial gets an easy knock. Did Orange Team win the last? Monthly, well, I forgot who was it. A lot of time in their own was it Orange Team who won the? Was it April? The doing a late clear. April Cup. Only took some of the farm, but, uh, yeah, right. Eridos now getting involved, trying to get these levels up. Pokemon that does very well with scaling, and they need to get there as quick as possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, this is scary! Oh my goodness, you guys! Like, no, wait. Uh, we're not dealing with this. Uh, just running over to somebody else in the exact same opposite tall grass, though. Uh, Zagrak on, on the Snorlax look good. <laughs> But on Umbreon, it's like 
he can't do much, right? Like, it just... I feel like Umbreon often in these games just the bystanders. It doesn't matter what I know, it's quite broken, but... By Mashize. But you can't really actively do anything compared to other defender. It, it does heal a lot, but... Man. I kind of feel it's bad to see, like, a good tank player being on Umbreon duty, because they just... They just can't be... They just don't do anything. Even they are able to escape just due to the slow rotation of orange users, and it would felt like a bit of miscommunication. With Snarl, you could at least set up plays, but with Wish and Foul Play, you, you can't set up any plays. Snarl has very good engage, or like actively doing something, but. Oh, nice, they get Regilecki. That's actually not too bad. Big overcap. Only 60 points behind now. In the meantime, though, Hades have but the late-game team fighting is alright. Yeah, I think it's quite even again, late-game nice team fighting. Say, okay, I mean, generally, you just, they, you just feel how, like, evenly the matched these two teams well. are. And, uh, the Regilecki gonna help them to start to even up those scores, so Lucario's uh, quite scary. Really I mean, it's just Lucario in the end, still, you know? And in the previous game, is they really want to start running away with the score, but now we've got about, a you know, about two minutes left-ish to Rayquaza, and the score lead is negligible. So What's I'm, he recall uh, up with really NDDs? Okay. Both these teams are putting on their kind of respective objectives. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Minog is good setup. Kind of no, yeah, no, really Minog is not good. I mean, it's all right. Have pretty much even up to basically exactly the same. And look at how Hades is playing. Also, doesn't really allow you to make really plays, you know, compared to Trevenant or Blastoise. Or even Snorlax. Leafhorn just got one shot. And Kratos goes down before they can even get within range of sight lines on this tier. They are going to get deleted. Great reset by the Hoopa. And now Hades again having a great advantage. Orange Juicers have to retreat and go back to the drawing board again. There's really nothing left on this map right now. They're they're kind of just wandering around, kind of seeing where everybody is. But finally, a few wild Pokemon start to spawn. Mm. But uh, realistically, I mean, both sides are doing a very good job of clearing everything that they can. They realize that they're very even in strength, and especially right. now down below this three-minute mark, they don't want to give anything up for free. I will say, just I mean, Hades is definitely I feel like his favorite over the final fight. But I mean, kind of it's really more than final fight. They have Hoopa again, lost. which means they can go for uh, more so macro plays was based on the Umbria, by being ahead. Right so we have another Reggie spawn. Final fights, whether it was you have to decide what they want to go to for. If I was Hades, I'd be like, I would go for Regilecki, though. I feel like just getting so that point is secure then. Are they in flip really Rayquaza position? Right now, they, really want to fight for this final they want to get one pick right now, then do Ray off. Zuckrock is yeah, shaking. Oh, Zuckrock might be gone. Yep. Zuckrock is gone. Are they going to burn Ray? Zuckrock will be spawning in with six seconds. Left until the final stretch, so they will make it in time. Reggie, like he lands uncontested. That's they're gonna go for it. Priority, That's what they have. They have right Lucario Blaze again. Overheat Lucario Knight move and snipe shot. They didn't block the snipe shot. They didn't block the snipe shot. Well, That's it. Orange Shooters in the end get the win. I mean, I. I agree with the rip, I guess. I guess it's, not, it's over. Nah, no, it's over, definitely, right? I agree with the rip, but they didn't block Snipeshot. What? You know, some people would say they, they deserve it for ripping Rayquaza, right? Right.